Well, you gotta love it when you use the game mechanics against itself. <laughs> well, let's hope this guy dies fast. Oh, he died. Oh, I see some boots. And... Okay. They're okay. I got these ones. These ones are also actually nothing too crazy. Uh, ooh, these ones have step assists. I might want to do that, actually. Yeah, I might want to do that. And I'm full. And so, guys, at the start of this episode, I have quite a lot to catch you guys up on. Well, first things first, we have a greenhouse. Yes, I made a greenhouse. I brought in some, some bushes. Uh if they actually grow inside of here this one is actually growing that's kind of cool we have some seeds over here like potatoes there we go can go back potato so sugar canes and then we have onions and beets and cabbages and carrots and then uh, i had this one for trees but the only trees i have is a orange champagne which i traded with a villager and he cannot go because this is not high enough of a tier because this is treated wood and I kind of I think I need copper or higher to place that there so yeah I kind of just placed one over here and well let's hope that this guy can grow secondly we have an oven now this guy actually speeds up a lot of our cooking process uh it's for right, mainly for food uh but it's pretty easy to, to build you just need a couple of bricks and then you need a top oven a bottom oven and then i made some chimneys like these are all chimneys right here and then you just place them like this and then you just have to surround them with bricks like regular bricks You'd, i don't think you even need this one just just looks cool uh, and then you have to put some logs in the bottom of the oven like this then you you just light it on fire and they will cook like they're on fire when you put them like that when you build it and then you just light that up and they if this is all built correctly they'll just get cooked and i also made a blast furnace this took a while because this actually took nine steel ingots uh which meant a lot of hammering over there but we got it and of course some unfired clay but that we we had already the resources to do that uh this guy took a little bit but hopefully hopefully it's gonna make the steel process a whole lot simpler and we got waste zones plural i have two yes i found this one like roaming around the the hills i think it was somewhere around over here actually and then i wanted to find a jungle to find bamboo so i went on a little bit of a journey and uh you can see that i was well unsuccessful to begin with uh to find a jungle but i did go uh this is around like what ten thousand blocks away or something like even more than that maybe uh first of all i went through a boat until i found land and then when i found land i just well try to explore down uh using these the conditions that we have over here on the temperature map trying to find a very hot place i was able to go up to 12 yeah 12 degrees um oh third 14 15 yeah maybe if we keep going over here we'll find anything but what i did find was this miner guy right here oh a squash i'll take that and this guy is crazy because i needed cinnabar and it trades for cut pyrolite cinnabar and then if you want to, we can trade highlights for lapis or sapphire. So this guy is crazy, crazy good in terms of villager trading. There's also another one all the way up here, which is the one I used to get pyrolite. And if we go home, I have a chest. Uh, no, this chest is iron. Yeah, I have this chest with a lot of pyrite that I can trade for cinnabar, which means I have basically all the redstone I needed. And all the redstone I needed help me with my gadget over here yeah the bad boy is up here charging because i was using him and I, I i i think i'm done mining you know i mean i'm not done mining i have to go mining but there's really <laughs> really uh this guy is insane so i have it on with a magnet so which means that every block it breaks it will well carry it to me i have it with a range tier three which i i think i had it on last episode already which it, it extends the range by a lot and then i have efficiency five 
this laser is insane because you know you have to deal with well possibly cave-ins right so you're just mining trying to do something and then things just fall in your head well not with this laser because i can just safely gather blocks from here sure it can cause cave-ins but it's but if i'm far away then it, it, it didn't get really gonna do anything to me right so this is kind of insane i don't really need these resources right now so i'm just gonna toss it there and even if it causes a cave-in i'm far enough away that i don't really have to bother with it and it really helps when i have to mine straight down for things because this guy has an insane range and i got all of this iron which now i got all this wood to make charcoal so i can process this because i'm trying to go for the rf compactor i'm trying to go for this guy right here if i can get this guy then my wielding of my well what should i call it the way i use this is i can turn things into the regular vanilla versions i guess you can call it vanilla <laughs> in a way because it's it's modded some of these items uh and this is pretty insane because i don't have to put him through a smelting process i can just put it through this machine and this machine will give me the perfect conversion kind of like you can see it takes 105 but it gives me one right uh, but that's like the main goal here i may lose out a little bit here and there but if i have this the only thing i need to do is toss it in front of fire and i have it and i literally have the ingot i don't need to cast it i don't need to smelt it i don't need to worry about it alloying with anything i can just toss it over the fire or the lava i should say and we have the ingot and believe it or not that's crazy good but yeah like i said and for that i need to actually process through a lot of this iron and probably get a lot more because that this block is very expensive uh it takes four iron blocks a hopper a pistons the hopper i have i can take that one uh, i have the comparator i think i have already some iron over here uh yeah we have 16 plus 13 uh i guess you can take three out for the three pistons which i guess you can actually just do uh oh no we can't it takes brass mechanics okay so maybe we try and find pistons somewhere because we did find these sticky pistons can we like clean them and make them not be no i don't think we can yeah no i don't think we can okay that's that's kind of a sad version uh so we need to make brass and wrought iron uh rods okay okay it's not that hard yeah we have brass we just need to punch it down there so, okay so so i'm gonna do that it's actually gonna take a yeah we got brass ingots we probably need to make more brass uh, which is actually pretty easy and even gonna take two of these because we do have access to the alloy kiln as well i don't think i, th I talked about it but we do have the alloy kiln over here uh, which means i can just toss these guys into here toss this into there and boom there we go this guy will give me two brass ingots so we still keep a little bit of brass and i also hooked up this to a redstone system uh it, it works but it's a little bit hiffy uh of course i'm missing the hopper because it's, it's it's down there uh at the cooking facilities uh but yeah whenever the ingot gets passed by it sends a redstone signal to the channel so it casts another ingot this is okay is is is, is not crazy uh it, it really isn't that crazy but it works you know it, it kind of works Oh, and how could I forget of my lovely, lovely animals, which took quite a while to get. Uh, but, you know, I did so much exploring that, it, I mean, I was eventually going to find them, right? So I had, a, I also had like seven or eight leads. So I just hooked them up and I brought them home. Uh, we have one of each. We have a male, a male sheep or a ram and a female sheep or an iwi, which is actually pregnant. So that's cool. Uh, we have a bull and we have a cow so they are gonna make babies the cow is pregnant as well and then we have a sow and a pig and the sow was pregnant and we got baby pigs and they take way too much time to grow but it's okay we can actually raise their 
familiarity with us uh, as soon as we have more crops growing into here uh, because then I, I realize that this 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 thing is good this thing is really good because it can grow crops all year round and I have more compost so I can make more of these pots which I'm going to do so we have more uh, crops basically flowing into to us because we don't have that many uh, but then we have a little bit of an issue where this greenhouse cannot grow grains. For that, I need copper. Uh, I do not yet, yet have that amount of copper to make something this big, or I guess a smaller version, I should say. Um, but when I do, that's definitely going to be a must, because we need ASAP, like ASAP grains, because... The sheep take grains, the cows take grains, this guy takes grains, even though he's maxed out already. Uh, but the pigs take anything, really. Yeah, the pigs take even rotten things, which is, which is kind of crazy. Oh yeah, guys, I also made a couple of these engineers crafting tables, which, believe it or not, they, they work like a chest. You know, like you cannot store tool or you cannot store wood. Well, you can here. You can put it into this area and it will we'll remember it and it will stay up there, which is kind of nice. Or you can just put it down here if you don't want that to be on the crafting because you may want to use the crafting. Uh, so maybe you just want to put them over here and you can. So that's kind of good. I think if I show this in the video, which I just did, it's probably going to get removed. So don't tell many people about this. It's, it's, it's just a secret between us. Now, here is the moment of Ruth. So we have it. And I, I, I really hope it works with our windmill over here. Uh, I'm okay with removing the charger for now. Yeah, there I go. And... Oh, it works! We have power! Oh, oh, this is so good. We, we actually have power. This is really revolutionary. Uh, I just don't know how much power like does it take. So I'm going to put all my iron into there. Like all of this iron. And hopefully we get tons and tons of iron. This is going to be massive for ore processing. Not necessarily for some other things, but for ore processing. And it's not even like consuming it. Does it need an output? Um, I take one out. Oh, missing inventory on output side. So it needs an inventory. Hold on. Okay, so it cannot stay here. Uh, I'll have to break it. It needs it needs to output to items below, uh, which means I need to do some LV things and some wires. So some LV wires like this, which they're, they they aren't that bad. Uh. And also, what do I need? Ooh, insulating them is really hard. Okay, so that's an issue. And this is just some, well, copper sheets to do. Which is a bit expensive, but we, we, I think we do have the copper. We have 11 and a sheet. That has to do. That has to do. So, yeah, we have to do some more copper, but I'm not going to have enough. Uh, and I can start by cooking in some of them. Uh, over here down at the bottom and I'm trying to smelt some more and hopefully this little system helps me output them because they need to cool off then they need to get sent down ideally I would have like two sides doing this so I'd have a bigger or a better output but then that has a little bit of an issue where you can get like different quantities like if you have 100 milli buckets and it splits them from both then you have two casts with 50 and they're unusable now so that's really oh there you go it worked <laughs> that's kind of nice that's really good so we should have four more ingots out of here uh actually i could use those ingots that are just being cooked to do this but uh, well we got to use these ones as well so here we go guys we got the connectors and whoo it already starts to have some power now i really need to pay to be careful now and here i need a relay actually so here i need a relay because these wires do not insulate it which means they will damage me if i like if i'm not careful 
so how am i gonna do this where do i want to put these machines to work like i kind of want to put them in a place where i don't have to deal with it uh let's put it here yeah i think here is a good place to put it uh it seems like it's going to connect well it has power that's good and i can still open the chest that's actually kind of nice and i also want <laughs> oh jesus i also want to put this down and yeah you see that i took damage okay this guy takes it from the back so if I, can i still do that no mm, i'm gonna have to make like a pole yeah i'm gonna have to make a pole so i can reroute this a little bit better but we have power so let's test it so it checks out the machine is working so we have this so we have raw iron and it's still gaining energy even when it reaches the full amount of ticks okay when it reaches the full amount of ticks it loses some energy uh like ten thousand. yeah ten thousand energy per well ingots i should say now my question is what happens if i have like it's completely filled in like what does it do then does it like do it all at a time or does it do like one per cycle like it's just gonna try and do as much as it can no it does one per cycle perfect that's good so we should have enough power to deal with this and we have a bunch of iron coming in which means we just need to toss it into the fire which means i'm going to actually rearrange everything around here like this portal is gonna move uh the bees are probably gonna move as well uh all of this is going to move because i need the secondary house because i don't like <clears throat> i don't like to be running into snow when it's winter actually it's late spring now so it's about to become summer but yeah so whenever it snows it's super painful to walk around here so we need to actually make a proper area to have all of these smithing things working together now but real quick let's let me, actually, let me actually show you how this works so you right click the food onto there then you gotta light the fire on the bottom so you can see it's going to start cooking up the salmon but you can't quite remove it without this appeal which needs a bowl and a stick and it doesn't take durability so you only really need one and you can see it's cooking and you right click it and you get it like you can right click it with your hand i think yeah but it takes some damage so you kind of don't want to take damage you just want to use the peel because it's, it's better it's better so let's take this chance to actually make some flat bread yeah so flat bread is not like the best bread you could do uh you can use your flour to make the better version but you kind of need yeast it, it needs a few more processes so if you have the oat flour if you put it with sugar or honey and a yeast bucket then you get oat dough if you immediately just put it with water you have flat bread now this is arguably better because when you cook it it will give you the proper bread which you can do for slices and those are pretty pretty good or you can make some sandwiches and the sandwiches never expire so those are even better and one more thing you see how now i cooked all that and i got like several different types of bread because they have different times well no need to worry because you have this thing which is a food shelf uh, it's technically supposed to be inside a cellar uh, we'll try and get there uh, maybe not today but we'll, we'll try and get up to a cellar because cellars are, are pretty good but if you just right click all of your bread into here it will just store it away all in the same place which is pretty pretty good it does have limitations of course like so but then you can just right click it and boom you got yourself a piece of bread and now it's just gonna stay there and you can see like the amount of time where it says it says three months so i have bread for three months so guys we moved yeah uh there's still some chests here because uh I, I gotta move this into the farming area and i got some compost over here so i need to make some more pots to place some things i still have all of these guys over here uh, which I'm going to make this thing to like the smelter area or the ore processing area. I'm going to make it maybe do it over here. But look at that. We have a house. Uh, it's still needing like a roof on top. But that, that that's going to come. 
uh and let me show you around so we have the chest area which is well pretty massive of course if you're using like chests for everything and these chests are smaller than usual so kind of need a little bit more chests and i'm giving like an overall look at how i have these things distributed i think these ones still are mostly empty yeah and i got the oven over here we got the mortar and some bricks then we got the setup that we had with the coke oven, the coke oven and the blast furnace over here back here we have the rolling mill and the millstone and they're all connected because i have a couple i have three water wheels down at the back we have the bloomery <laughs> Ooh, sorry i have the bloomery here which has access to the top from here and of course i have some redstone lamps with a bunch of levers just powering it uh, this is temporary i may change the redstone lamps for normal glowstone or something else i don't know i guess we'll see with, with time whenever i need to do a second floor i'll probably change these these lights around but yeah we have a house this area over here still needs some some attention though and i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with a portal yet uh maybe we'll just move it like to the wall of the house or something like that because uh it's taking a lot of space here and we got, ooh, sorry jesus my voice is crackling right now i don't know why uh we have the flux capacitor and we have the charging station hopefully i can make these guys work uh inside of here so we can have this little little room for our processing and stuff like that you know since we have this uh and i'll probably move if we do that we'll probably move this thing the blast furnace here We'll make a hole in this wall so we can work with these things on the inside and we can also have access to this on the outside uh, i kind of want to make like a small roof over here just just roof no walls just a little bit of a roof and have that on there oh yeah one more amazing thing i was able to get this the light placer module but it was a little bit tricky to get this uh, you see, if you try and look for the recipe for this, it's tell, it tells you that you need lanterns. Now, there's no recipe for Minecraft lanterns. There is. I'm clicking. Uh, there it isn't. Uh, but you can get them. Uh, you just need to go to a bastion and pick the ones that are there. And boom, you got two lanterns. And the rest is pretty much easy. Some glowstone and some redstone. And of course, the, the module. And boom, now we have this. So it means we can mine and we can see what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, take a look at what we had. So from all the ores that I had and uh, went to get a little bit more iron, we have all of this. This is so crazy good. Look at this. And we can we don't need to forge it. We don't need to smelt it over here. We can just cook it because we have a cooking machine. Oh, I do have to move this upstairs. But in the meanwhile, it's the, it does its magic. So in case you want to see some mining, this is how it looks like with this. Uh, with the laser it's it's pretty crazy i made this hole this was not a hole i repeat this was not a hole and now there's even water there i don't even know how that place got water uh but yeah look at that i'm just gathering tons and tons of iron all my iron came from this single vein i'm not kidding all of it came from here and it also has some rubies as well uh which i don't really care much about so what i did was just basically fill my inventory with with iron uh i'll i'll sure i'll take a little bit of of limestone this is basically how i got all the limestone for my building uh but yeah i just go over here laser all of this thing and when we get the three by three it's gonna be even better like it's definitely gonna be even better but the problem for that is we need blue steel and we're kind of far away from blue steel you know uh what i'm trying to do right now is get a bunch of iron so we can use our blast furnace to make a bunch of steel so we can start making some immersive engineering machines and that will hopefully boost us a lot lot more so well i need to start working on some steel so i made myself a steel anvil because we now have tons and tons of steel and we can now actually uh the thing that i'm going for is the press this bad boy because this bad boy is actually so so helpful in a lot of recipes to make gears uh to make the rods to make the wires 
to make plates as well you know if we if we need it uh so this is pretty a pretty good and solid thing to go for and i need some steel scaffolding so i need it to work with steel and in order to actually work with steel i need the steel anvil and now i have it so i guess you can now smelt this one and get the iron back so let's start doing some welding shall we because i need three uh so it allows me to do let's put all of this actually we're making more I need three of these and I actually should already start work with this because I need to make some sheets let's hopefully okay kind of found it <laughs> was a little bit awkward in oh there you go yeah okay so it's still the same button mashing that I'm used to so it's gonna be pretty easy Oh god, these the, these mechanical belts, they're a pain to, to make because you need kelp and in order for me to get kelp, the only way that I, that I have is TP to the miner down here and go over here and, well, grab it from there and apparently you need to place it in salt water to grow I made this little pool and this is salt water uh, yep, you can see, this is a salt water bucket, there we go and it can't I, can't, I had some kelp, uh, I can't place it here, it does nothing, and I don't know why. I'm wondering if it's for some reason, because this is not full water blocks or something, but I think they, they all should be. So I don't understand why I can't place them, I think it has to do with the biome that I'm in. And if that's the case, then that, 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 that's really bad. Oh oh okay so i i did not see this one coming this one's gonna be very expensive uh because each single one of these guys takes four steel so this four of these take actually 20 steel i have it uh i, I do have it but at the same time it's it's very very much expensive so let's put it over here to the, the small setup that i have for the press and let's wait a little bit and so let's hope this works let's let's actually hope this works and boom oh it did we have a press finally and we can hook it up boom we have power now i'm pretty sure that's not gonna be enough like i'm pretty sure that guy is not gonna be enough i do have another windmill i just need to make another kinetic dynamo and then we can have this guy with some power now he he still needs some presses, like some molds, so he can press things. Like, for example, we need the gear for this one. We need the metal press for this one. Uh, for that one, we need this one. This one is one of, that we really need. So I really need to see how we do this. Okay, we need an engineer's wire cutters. And yeah, so with the press in hand and with some more things that I got to go do, I think that's all the time I have for today. I did quite a lot today. We got a new house, which still needs, still going to have some more decorations. Don't worry. It's still like basic resources. That, that's what that's what I could do. <laughs> and it really took quite a while. We got a lot of iron. I still need to go and grab more. Uh, we got some steel. I need to make more as well. So we can do some more of these presses. And this is hopefully going to save us a whole bunch of time. And yeah also my mining laser is charging because i fully depleted it <laughs> mining so yeah i gotta go and wait for it to charge so i can go mining again but in all that said guys hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next one bye